So my kids and I have recently been doing uh, some research and study on ant colonies and things like that and so we thought we would have a go at set up our own little ant farm uh, here at home. I did a 3D print uh, of a basic um, model that we've kind of used um, uh, whilst the, the flying ant days were happening to um, capture a queen and uh, now I've picked up this hopefully decent yet cheap uh, little um, ant farm so I thought I'd put it together and so you guys can see what it looks like. So I imported this um, so there's no real instructions but I figure it can't be that difficult so uh, let's just I was going to put it together and see what it looks like. Right. So this is the little accessories piece. So that's uh, for water, I think. Some sort of rubbers and a series of screws and washers and nuts. So, needs a knife. Couple of test tubes. A smaller test tube and a bit of pipe. Okay, and then the laser cut plastics to uh, help me construct it all together. So let's just have a little look at what this looks like. There's quite a few parts. One, two, three of those. A little bit of mesh of some sort. It's pretty cool. So this acrylic sheet still got the um, the coverings on. So uh, I guess we need to take that off as well. Let's see what it's like underneath. So I think what I asked for was a white one, a white and clear I should say. So. It's a really good cut finish actually. So let me uh, basically do a little time lapse of me uh, putting this together and, uh, and let's see what it's like at the end.
Okay, so it took so long to take all that acrylic sheet protection off, um, the battery ran out. But now we've got things all laid out, so we'll have a go at trying to work out how this all goes together. So I know roughly what it should look like. Um, so we'll roll the, the video footage and uh, see if I can work out how to get this all together. Basically it's a main area uh, and then a kind of a sub section. So I'm assuming this will be the base. So uh, let's crack on from here. Okay, um, so I'm not quite sure where the video cut off, so I'll just do a quick um, summary run out of uh, space. Um, so we've got these sections on the front, uh, and these middle sections, so there's an outer casing, uh, a thick, the thickest inner layer, a single coloured layer that all lines up, and then this kind of next transparent layer that has these little small openings in to restrict water flow. Then basically just looking at else what, what else fits in, in line with the screws. So it, it makes it quite simple actually to understand that. Let me pop this on. And I don't know if, if there's a reason, uh, I don't think you need to do those coloured ones in a certain order because um, they both have the same layout. The most important thing is obviously this end cap goes on the end again to keep everything safe and secure inside and then obviously just need to do up put, put these other screws in all the holes I guess and need to work out what this bit's for I think I just realised, I thought that these um, blue things would be like washers or something, but actually I think they're like little mini elastic bands. So each of these little sections have little protrusions with lips on. And we can just clip them in. Which is super easy. That seems to go in pretty well. Um, I guess my only feedback right now is maybe these bolts could be uh, a little bit shorter, but I guess that'd be too difficult to get your hands in there and attach it. So I'm gonna try and find that other elastic band and then come back and see if we can work out how the rest of this, or basically this stuff here that needs to go in. Um, yeah. I'll get a craft knife in there so that sits in there nice and flush. Right, so let's work out how to get this last little bits together and uh, it will be completed. Okay, so the uh, camera ran out of storage again. So I'm really not quite sure how, uh, how well this video is going to go together, but just to bring up to date. So um, obviously I've cut the foam for this main water tube. This second water tube here uh, what I'm going to do is cut off a small part of this tube that allows me to feed into uh, the bigger tube here that I have um, for my other 3D printed ant farm or formicarium, whatever you prefer to call it. So I'll just chop off that much over there. Got bits on here, so that'll be enough. Just 
two in that hole there. Yep. Okay. And what we need is to ravel this up. Some water into both of these pipes or these test tubes and see if it leaks or not. And uh, that'd be a good first test. And I think I tied up a bit of this rubbish whilst I'm at it as well. Okay, so I fill these both up with water and these bits of foam seem to be doing the job. They're getting wet uh, and we'll slowly release water, but I'm going to leak everywhere, which is fantastic. So I'll put that one in there, this one in the other side, and that's it. It's, um, it's done. It's ready. It's ready for colonization. So I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Um, I'll add um, some overlay at the end, maybe, um, if I have time to try and get the ants moved in. Uh, but I'm happy with how this turned out. Um, I think the price is pretty good. I might look, if people are interested in these, I might see if I can get hold of uh, a dozen and then uh, can uh, sell them to you guys if you're interested. But yeah, as usual on Spectrum Geeks, anything goes, this may be a strange video, um, but uh, yeah, let me know if you've done this sort of thing before. Uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly grab um, my 3D printed one, just so you can see kind of what that looked like as well. Okay, so this is my 3D printed one. Um, I didn't have any screws at the time, so the perspex is just held in with some tape. Um, but this is kind of how it came out. So I've got some test tubes um, in there. That's kind of just additional place to hide and put some food in. Uh, and then this whole section here in blue is actually uh, the water reservoir. So I can put water um, into there that shows up on camera, so the water to go in um, and then obviously the internals obviously where the ants live and everything and there's a couple of holes that I could use to transport the ants around but that's it so I need to move some other ants off into here and then I can allow a connection from one place to the other and uh, See so it goes over time. Hopefully it'd be interesting for the kids to learn a little bit more uh, about ants and kind of following their formations and, and how they how they interact. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, should be good. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.